Cathy, you are a big defender, <laughs> a fan of, of ginger people, right? I am. Oh, listen, I just had a funny story to tell about him. In the days when he was fun. Yeah. Uh, so I was going, one of my friends was going to the Royal Polo and said, would I like to go along? And as a writer, you never turn down an adventure. You know, you're always in Margaret Mead mode. So I, I went to, was going to the Polo and Clarence House rang me up and said, we can see you're coming to the Polo. Would you like to present the Royal Cups to the princes? Oh, there's, see, there's a photo. And I was like, yeah, sure. They must have been very low on celebrities that day. Like well, that's, Prince, that's Prince William there that you're so, so I, up to. Yes. And so I'm standing, close, I'm standing at the, at the, you know, at the podium and I said to the organiser, who was one of those British upper caste guys who sends his shirts out to be stuffed, you know. <laughs> he was horrified they'd asked a lowly colonial female to give the cups. <laughs> so I said, well, what do I do? And he said, well, as, as the princes approach, you kiss them on the cheek and present the cup. And I could see Prince William walking towards me and he looked a little bit bored. So I said to him, apparently I have to kiss you. Do you want tongue? <laughs> and Prince William went... Oh, perhaps later. <laughs> and he went back and told Harry, and I saw Harry killing himself laughing. And Harry came up and I said, "Do you want tongue?" And he went, "Oh yeah!" So I gave him a big passion. I jumped on him and rode him around the paddock. And he, he was so relieved not to be treated like a porcelain prince, yeah. but to actually have some fun. I mean, if ever they were going to put me in the tower, that would have that been the moment. Fun. But I felt a bit of a frisson with him too. I was very annoyed when Meghan came along. What do you think of him now, as one of his? Former fans, yeah. do you think he's lost his way a little bit? I think he's, I think he's lost his sense of irony. I think he's got having an irony deficiency. But I don't think we should blame. Everyone always blames the the woman, you know, that trope of always blaming the evil woman. I think he's, you know, he's a tr he's been through a lot of trauma. I mean, the reason he endeared himself to women, particularly, was when, as a young boy, walking behind the coffin of his mother. I mean, oh. And then he was a rascal and he sowed whole plantations of wild oats. He was quite, quite like a bit of a pirate. So we found him very charming. And he's obviously going through a huge um, mental And he has got upheaval. a great sense of humour. Uh, I, I mean, I'm saddened greatly by, you know, his sort of declining yeah, uh, reputation. Because, I, I mean, I came across him about three or four times in, in the charity Yorkshire world. Yeah. Um, and I was always told that, that if he bid, I wasn't allowed to reference him. So when his hand really? went up... Really? Yeah. So when his hand went up, I went... Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the House of Windsor have entered the York. <laughs> that was my way round it. And he was really game. And there was one, one event that he went to where he was there in a private capacity. He took all his mates. He had his own table okay. and took all his really? mates. And, and he said something while I was having my photograph taken before the event had even started. And I'd met him a couple of times. And he said something which was Mickey-taking. And I, and I, not being the true professional, Kathy, I was looking at the <laughs> camera having this really embarrassing photograph taken. And this person walked past with somebody else and said something slightly derogatory, taking the mick, obviously. So I actually assumed it was a friend, so I flicked a V. <laughs> and then when the bloke went, that's it, great, John, I went, thanks very much. I thought, well, I'll see who it is, which of my mates. And I looked up, I was like, oh, my Lord. I can't <laughs> believe it. I've just flicked a V at the member of the and royal family. And that was family. Prince yeah, Harry. That was Prince Harry. And he bid in that auction hmm. uh, that night, and he went all the way, and I was giving it all the lines oh, of, you know, is there anybody out there, a Republican, or maybe a distant <laughs> relation of the Tollpuddle Martyrs that wants to get stuck <laughs> into the royal family? And by the end of the auction, the organiser, this wonderful woman and a great organiser called Nikki Turley, was in front of me at the stage going, like this, because apparently a royal protection officer was giving her the eyeball that I'd gone too, <laughs> too far. far. But I bet he didn't think that. Oh, no, he no. loved it. And, and, and I saw him after it. And his mates were all roaring with laughter. And... I bet. And also, people, you know, we're all saying, oh, no, he's talking too much about his mental health. But most English men, you have to do open heart surgery to find out, out what's going on inside them. And the fact that he's making it OK for men to talk about their emotions. Well, they both and, are. And they both William's are. And, and, and that's a really good thing. Yeah. Are you a big fan of Prince Harry, William? Um, I must admit, I'm, I'm in a similar position of having gone off him in, in recent years. He used to be very entertaining. Yeah. Now, you know, not so much. And I think I've got various friends who, who work in sort of royal correspondency and the like, and they, they tell me rumours of what's in his book um, that's coming down the track, and, and they're rather eye-opening. Um, so... I would say that I, as, as, as fond as I am of the man that he used to be, I think the last few years he's only been doing damage to the royal family. Um, and I think, unfortunately, we, one has to compare sort of Harry now with, with Harry then. But I think coming back to the original story of him being voted the sexiest ginger, I mean, I, I'm not sure there was a huge amount of competition. Oh, I um, love ginger. Well, I don't, is it all male? But there yeah, were no yeah. females allowed in All male. So Ewan yeah. McGregor, I don't think of Ewan McGregor as being a no. famous ginger, oh. do you? Or